It is that time of year where Halloween is right around the corner and you're starting to see zombies, haunted houses, freaking scary little witches, whatever it is. And we're gonna take that to the next level today by looking at some of the scariest riddles on the internet, apparently. Yeah. Most of the time these are slightly exaggerated. Yeah. But we're gonna find out today if we can solve some scary riddles that will blow your mind. Please welcome for the first time, Detective Claire. And Andrew. <laughs> Detective Claire and Andrew on the scene. I yeah. I ate too many, too many carbs before this. <laughs> Elaine and John were married for five years. Oh, it's Ellen. You already blew it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just talk about the first one. You're gonna think about what you did. How did you mispronounce the first word? They're gonna make fun of us, babe. Ellen and John were married for five years. Look at them. They look so in love. Uh, John's tall AF. It's your turn. Oh, what day they were having dinner together. They were talking and eating as usual. That's disgusting. Don't talk with your mouth full yeah, of people. Yeah, yeah. In a couple of hours, John was dead. Oh my God, poor John. Elaine, I mean, Ellen poisoned him, obviously. Like, Maybe. Let's be real. The police identified he was poisoned. Oh my God. I told you. But there was no poison in the food i know what happened she I kissed him nope i know what happened however ellen was arrested for murder i know what happened murder i know what happened it's in the salt Ooh. i knew that before we even did it i knew it was the salt look at that it's not even going down it's just floating ellen's a murderer that was really Good luck. smart i think you're right I i'm of course i'm right the salt <gasps> Boom, of course I'm right. I knew that. You're such I a knew smarty. Oh, which preschool teacher is a maniac? A or B? It's gotta be B. B, because she has something weird on her hand. No, look at she has a hand in her cup. Yeah, the F Ew, she's drinking. That's crazy. She's drinking a baby hand tea. What yeah, the look at F? That. Which preschool teacher is manic? Okay. Maniac! Oh. oh. Oh my god. Look, there's a head in her trash bag. Are you sure it's not the lady with the stain on her dress? Yeah, I would say the head in the trash bag is worse. <laughs> Why is she using clear trash bags? Back, she's know. got a freaking head. Are you kidding me? Do people actually miss these? <laughs> oh my. If people actually miss these, wait, which preschool teacher is a maniac? Oh, this one. Why do I think it's manic? Which one's this one? A maniac is the one with the handcuffs. That's oh. creepy. Kid, don't go to the chair. You'll get handcuffed to it and probably got your head cut off like the last lady. Detective Larson was on the train home. At night, the train suddenly stopped. What the heck, <gasps> man? Oh. The driver was killed. Jesus oh, The second driver was killed. The detective examined the crime scene carefully. Whoa! Seems like a clue. Nat. Nat. Wow. I wonder who did and it. And interviewed three suspects. I oh, I don't know. The girl with the N on her shirt? <laughs> no, look. The N, the T, and then the A is like in her. It's Mary. <laughs> who the F would miss these? Bro, make them a little more difficult. Just a little bit. Oh my God. Yeah, I wonder if it's a girl with the N-A-T on her freaking shoes, her belt, and her shirt. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. And first off, this lady is so stupid. Why would you put Nat on the freaking thing? Oh and my God. And then have Nat all over you? Why does she have letters all over her? Yeah, who wears, who whose shoes have a T on it like Whoa, that? Oh, look at that. Whoa! We solved the murder mystery. Where's my paycheck? You know what I'm saying? What the F was that? A bit. Who did it? Solving murders gives me indigestion. <laughs> indigestion. Indigestion. It's indigestion. It's indigestion. It's indigestion. Hillary called the police. And said that her husband was killed. The detective arrived at their place. Who did it? And interviewed Hillary. Hey, Hillary, why'd you freaking shoot your husband in the stomach? I came home from work. Uh, it was my turn. Sorry. Suddenly, someone held my nose and mouth. What the F? And I lost consciousness. Hillary, we know you're lying, girl. Wait, what the F? I woke up in the kitchen, and I saw my husband lying in the bedroom. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Not her hubby. He was stabbed. And he was stabbed with a knife. It's my turn. You've read like seven things in a row. This is you. Have you touched anything in the living room? No. I like this acting we get to do. I hate it. The detective examined the body and arrested Hillary immediately. Why? Well, she said someone stabbed him in the back, right? Or did I just make that up? No, that that's probably true. She sh she couldn't see the knife. Oh. How, how did she know he was stabbed? Because he was like uh, rolled over. <laughs> oh. 
Makes sense. A man was found dead in the woods. Of course, everyone's dying in these freaking things. Autopsy showed he was killed with a hunting rifle. There were three certified hunters living in this area. Okay. The middle one's kind of cute. All of them said they didn't. That kind of looks like me. You hmm. didn't read it, Andrew. As it was off season. What did what did we just miss? Because you were just so focused on that that the guy looks like you. Sorry, I wasn't. I forgot. All of them said they couldn't do it as it was off season and hunting wasn't allowed for now. The detective <laughs> asked them to take off their shirts. Whoa! Whoa, baby! And immediately arrested one of them. I don't know. I oh, I'm... it's Lee because his his shoulders bruised and it's. Oh, good! I didn't even see that his shoulders <laughs> bruised. Wow, good job, babe. Lee, you liar! You can't spell lie without Lee, technically. Mr. Hammond had a daughter, Rosie. Sup, Rosie? Haha. <laughs> she had the most beautiful hair in town. Mm hmm. Aww. Once, Rosie disappeared. Was he like, ah, oh, my ear hurts? A few weeks later, the police found her dead and she, she, her hair is all shaved off. I swear, if we find someone, they thought it was Sally and she has, look, look at the hair. This there was guy. one witness who could testify, Mr. Clark, the hairdresser. I'm the Hammond's neighbor. Yeah, obviously her hair's in the window. The day she was gone. Is that her hair in the window? Or I is... saw a van by their house. It's your van, Mr. Clark. I only brought pizza to Mr. Hammond. Mailman, I used the van to deliver my I'm the Hammond's driver. Kind of looks like me as well. It's Mr. Clark. The detective realized who should be arrested. Mr. Clark, because her hair's in the dressing. Yeah, bro. This guy killed the girl, shaved her head, and is selling her hair. That's about the most messed up thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Mr. Clark, you're guilty. Yeah, who misses that? Oh, don't act like you're just all smart. Here we go. The police arrived at the ski resort. Ooh, the hunky policeman. The manager was found dead in <gasps> the the same guy. Oh, this poor guy's been stabbed twice. <laughs> the maid found his body in the staff lounge. The police su suspect, su suspect, su suspect three people who, who arrested. arrived yesterday. Who arrived yesterday? They inspected their rooms. Wait, you always get all mad at me for not being able to read, but that was just nasty. At least I know how to say Ellen. Okay, so let's see where we're at. You just spit all over me. I'm gonna freaking yell at you, okay? But so let's see. So someone died, and they're interviewing these three people that arrived yesterday at the ski resort. Okay. Laura. Lauren. James. He looks legit. He has a gun. There's a gun. Okay. Arthur. And then there's a ninja. There's blood on Arthur's belt. It Good was find. Arthur. I was gonna say it was Laurel or Laura, whatever, because she was rocking like a skirt. He wears skirts in the mountains. Yanni. Yanni. But yeah, it's Laura. definitely Arthur. Arthur is a murderer. Arthur, because he had blood on his pants. He doesn't have any warm clothes. Are they not going to discuss the blood that's all over his Gucci like, belt? Was that just like a thing that was staged? I'm confused. Yeah, I don't know. The captain of the submarine did the morning checkup. Oh, and someone died. They uh, found a sailor Teddy dead. Teddy! Someone stabbed him with a knife. Yeah! Oh, wait, look. See that arm? The captain in. Wait, what is that word? Initiated an investigation and questioned the crew. Okay, so they're all wearing the same type of. Uh, Shirts. I was watching the sensors. I was scrubbing the deck. I'll be this last guy. I know how this guy talks. I was talking to my wife on Skype. Michael, right? Michael, you can't be talking to your Skype, your wife on Skype because you're on a boat. Yeah, where are you in the middle of the Pacific Ocean on Skype? Plus, who uses Skype? No one. Michael did it. You're going to prison, Michael. Congratulations. Where? Michael, because no one uses Skype. What if they said that? Michael, because no one uses Skype anymore. Because who the heck uses Skype? Yeah, because if you use Skype, you're There's obviously There's no internet psycho. on submarine. There probably is nowadays. And what do you know? L Lily. Was Lily was found, found dead in her in dorm. dorm. No surprise there. Lily, what are you doing? The police searching the building. Hello. And found a notebook. What is inside the notebook? Oh my God. Full information about the victim. Ooh, Ooh. that's creepy. This is a planned out attack. The detective believed that it belonged to the killer. She's going to have writing on her walls. Watch. Okay. She writes very scribbly. The author was left-handed. You're missing clues because you can't shut your yapper. Sorry. The detective identified three suspects. Peter, Jenny, and Larry. Who's got ink on the bottom of their hand? Ooh, because it's left-handed. Yep, I have this problem because I do indeed write left-handed. Jenny's room. Okay. Larry's room. Also interesting. Pretty sick setup right there. He's probably a Twitch streamer. And then Peter's room. Peter doesn't write. Yeah. I think it's number I two. I think it's Jenny. I think it's Larry because this girl's got markers. Larry's got a pin. It's got to be Larry. I think it's Jenny. I don't know why. I just think it's Jenny. But Jenny didn't write with markers. I don't like know. the I notebook had a Jenny. pin. Uh, it's Larry. Oh, he's left handed. You dode. Wow. You got it right, but not for the right reasons. Wow. Alice was found dead in the park. 
Oh, girl. Jeez, she's got some long the legs. The police find, found out that she was killed and no one in the house. The house is near the park. This and then <laughs> brought there. And then brought there. What the F? What do we mean? <laughs> they interviewed the owners of the house. Let's see what these owners look like. Oh, yeah, it's this guy. I don't know this girl. Jim. BS. She was your girlfriend. I don't I've know never this seen... girl, but you have a painted picture of her. What am I playing with? I'm playing with a tape measure and it's all wrapped. Look at, look at my hand. I feel like this might be the most annoying we've been in a video. I know. We met at an expedition, Clyde the musician. It was obviously Jim, but I... But haven't even talked. She was my colleague student. I saw her once or twice. Okay, I wonder if it's a guy that perfectly self-portraited exactly what she was wearing. Like she looks dead in that self-portrait too. True. Yeah, it's clearly Jim. If you guys get this wrong, you need to sign off the internet for a couple months. It's like it was Clyde the Musician. Oh, my bad. Jim, weird. Circle the painting in the background. Oh my God, incredible. Not gonna lie, slightly disappointed with the 11 scary riddles on crime. Because I was not scared at once. I was honestly scared for the people that didn't get these right. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Can you stop playing with that right now? Like, we're filming a video. Shall we? But make sure before you leave to like and subscribe and turn on those post notifications to just ensue, 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 and be a part of our daily chaos, our daily lives, and our daily fights. They all happen. You all see. Multiple times a day. So we will see you guys in the next one. Smash that like button. I already told them to subscribe. do that. Subscribe. I already told them to do but that. But sometimes you have to do it twice. And turn on those notifications or the boogeyman is going to come find you when you sleep. Okay, goodbye. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. You have something to eat. No, I don't. Andrew, don't ruin my hair.